friends, welcome to another video. My name is Alyssa and this is Dreaming of the Farm. Today I am sharing a Christmas shop with me video at Crate and Barrel. The store was looking amazing, very beautiful. The colors were out of this world, everything just popped and I'm really excited to share this one with you. But before we get shopping, please subscribe to my channel. I'm sharing a lot of videos like this if this is your thing. I have a lot of decorating plans coming and um, it just means the world to me when you subscribe, like, and comment. So please take a minute to do that and let's get started. So Crate and Barrel had many ways to make your home modern, merry, and just your style this season. This store is just so chic and I love how it allows you to be you in your home and to bring your own sense of creativity. Crate and Barrel always brings it when it comes to top designer trends and it is a go-to for high-end furniture decor and a top favorite for wedding registries. I did my wedding registry there. And an interesting fact I learned is that Crate and Barrel is usually actually more expensive than Pottery Barn, and most of their commerce actually happens online. So anyway, a few favorites of mine from this section of the store would have to be those frozen twigs that resembled rock candy. I thought those were really unique, and I loved the Hunter Green Hurricane Flood glasses. I thought they would look really nice with a pillar candle inside. Um, the ones with the gold stencil Christmas tree on the outside were my favorite. I thought this section of the store had a lot of nice ways to warm up the hallway or to just make a bathroom feel nice and cozy and to smell like the Plaza Hotel on Christmas Day in New York. The candles just smelled expensive. So as I shared, I did my wedding registry for Crate and Barrel and we were lucky enough to receive all of our everyday dishes from there and we love them. They are high quality, they can really last a lot of use and we have no complaints. We use them every day and they are super great and we like how they can be used for every day but we also sometimes use them for the holidays. I thought these... Um, Aspen red plates with the little white reindeers on them were super fun and something that you could use even on Thanksgiving if you host Thanksgiving and you want something that can go through both holidays. I thought they weren't overly Christmassy and I really enjoyed the red uh, dish, oh my goodness, the red silverware, that's the word. I really loved the red silverware. I thought that that was really different and fun and a great way to add color without being over the top. So I found those reindeer to be a little bit similar to the reindeer that Pottery Barn had and they're very simple, very modern, very clean, lots of color options and those would be a no for me, just a little too boring, I like a little bit more character. Um, they had some nice table decor linens happening, very clean, but um, a little bit more expensive for somebody who makes a lot of mess. Something I really appreciate about these stores is how they show you various ways to decorate with the same items. They really explore options and um, I find it helpful to see different ways. I think it helps me kind of brainstorm and plan um, and I bet even though these stores are more expensive, 
you buy the right things. I often say quality over quantity when shopping at these stores versus shopping at a store like Home Goods. I bet if you were to compare your receipts, I bet the receipts would be very similar because they just overwhelm you there with so much and make you feel like you need so much more. So the like, look at the garland rack here in comparison to the garland rack in Michael's or Hobby Lobby. There's just sometimes it's just too much, and maybe you buy too much. Um, anyway, but back to the beautiful garlands. I thought their price points were fair. Obvious, obviously more money than the other stores, but not like outrageously more. And it was just really real, very heavy really nice quality so you'd have to know where you were going to put it and how you were going to hang it. I'm not in the market for this right now but what I also thought um, was interesting was some of these came with lights so you know that the garland has lights so you're going to be saving some money there and um, just very very beautiful very nice and yeah I'm just going to let the video do the talking here but um, just really beautiful juniper, cedar, they had all the different blends of the holiday greens and the classic pine with pine cones and holly berries. another example of what I mean by they show the display like they actually have a door inside the store so I thought that was really cool and um, I thought it would be really cool if they actually had like several doors with different door colors because um, look they show you a simple setup here with a doormat and the different clients you have little tables and then the wreath on the door we have a green door we have two green doors so this is like gets a little boring for me because sometimes I have to think about that since we have a green door that's a little bit more of an unusual color versus like a wood door, black door, white door, red door. Those are kind of your classic door colors. Um, so I liked that they had a door example there but how cool would it be if a store had all the different colors so that you could really see um, what you were working with. So I liked a lot of their tabletop ceramics. I really enjoyed the different ways they style the Christmas tree. I thought it was so unique. So many different shapes and textures and patterns and just really wintry, really fun. And I loved the wooded trees. I thought that they were just super cute. And like if I had somewhere in my home, I would probably put it in a guest room and like make it its own style. Those don't really blend with what we have going on. Um, but just really gorgeous, really fun, really exciting things happening. Um, I will say that I was disappointed with the pillows. I thought the pillows were very expensive. More money from Pottery Barn. Um, you know, I love the Pottery Barn pillows. I talked about those a lot in that video and um, I did lay my head on these a little bit and just definitely not as comfortable in my opinion. Very pretty, very cool, but not worth the money in my opinion. This whole table just took my breath away. The table itself is gorgeous. This definitely speaks more to my style, more rustic farmhouse, but I loved the birch trees. Okay, so now we're moving into the Christmas tree decor, into the ornaments, and like Pottery Barn, they had them organized very similar, 
very similarly, it's always such a hard word for me to say. Um, so they gathered everything by color and they show you the ornaments dialed together in compartments organized well and then they show it on a tree next to it. So they have like your simple winter tree, your more colorful, fun, like children design tree, and then um, your more natural winter tree. So I thought that was uh, nice the way they have it all set up for you. They had some super cute stockings happening. We had our stockings made a few years ago with our names on them from L.L. Bean. And oh my goodness, I just realized I have to buy a new one for Evelyn. Um, but I really liked what they had. I thought it would be fun to uh, blend in a few from different stores. Something I think I will buy from this store is that tree skirt, the crochet knitted tree skirt. It was very thick and it had a little sticky on the red trim. So it will actually, hopefully, stay around um, your tree. So I was checking out these like tinsel bells and I was like, wow, you gotta be kidding me. Like they were so expensive and a little bit chintzy. So I was like, come on, Crate and Barrel, you should bring, bring that price point down on there. Um, but I loved, this was my favorite of all the ornament sections. Um, this one and then the next one. But I really enjoyed the acorns. I love this like, little whimsical wooden this is just me I just love this stuff and it was so heavy um, I had to like be like whoa this would not bode well if you have a toddler or a cat but really cute stuff that you could put at the top of a tree and they had some really adorable knitted ornaments which you'll see in a few minutes like the turtle so cute
I just loved that little turtle. I thought he was so cute. And I liked how Crate and Barrel had the collars for the Christmas tree. They showed you all the different options they had. I haven't subscribed to that trend yet. I feel like it will get in the way of presents. So you can comment below and let me know if you have a tree collar. I feel like it's something I might do, but for now I will stick to my blanket or tree skirts. So they had a lot of great hosting gifts happening. Um, they had a really fun cocktail book. If I were to pick up something for somebody, I would maybe pick that up. Or the 12 Days of Christmas plates. I'll show you that in a minute. That's the cocktail book. And um, very similar style trends here that I saw at Anthropology. The punch bowl was so breakable it made me so nervous to have it in my home. But uh, these are the 12 Days of Christmas appetizer plates. Anthropology has a collection that I've started to collect items from, so I'm not going to be mixed matching, but um, yeah, really, really cool, really fun to help us remember that that's the most annoying song of the season. Uh, so here is a large overview of the store, very beautiful, and this is the last section I checked out, and I have to say, I really liked what they had. They had these zinc black nutcrackers. I thought that they were really beautiful and um, I liked the black ornament tree. So my husband and I used to collect ornaments from a store called Lennox. We used to get the Winnie the Poohs every year and they're very breakable and now that we have children it's kind of hard for us to put them on the tree because you know we're just nervous of something happening to them. And I thought this little ornament pedestal holder was really cool. A great way to capture those valuable ornaments and not have to worry about something happening to them. Alright, so the store was approaching closing time. I filmed this on a Friday evening and I had to head back to my wonderful family. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I've been really enjoying uh, filming them for you and sharing with you and just checking everything out that's coming for this Christmas season. And um, if you're new, my name is Alyssa again. This is Dreaming of the Farm. I'm a mom and I often share on my channel home decor motherhood and lifestyle and it just means the world to me when you stick around and you like and comment ever so grateful for you all right folks until the next video god bless and good cheers and i hope you all are great thanks so much for being here